I was sitting in prison serving two life sentences. From that moment to this, you could never have imagined it. What's the bio again for the Alpha Run Project? 12 young athletes changing the world, defying the odds and showing that anything's possible. Tomorrow's the day. This is actually happening. Tomorrow we change the world. It doesn't feel real. From the street to the beach! Too many young people become so disconnected from nature that they don't even know what it feels like to be active and be outside. In the cities, everything's so busy. It's very blaring. Where I grew up was really rough. There weren't no sports in my area. There's a local park to me, but I've never been running in the hills. You don't get to see much nature. I didn't know what trail running even was. What a trail was like. What do you mean? Unfortunately, nature and the outdoor world is still very much the domain of the white middle classes. It isn't fair in life that only a select group of society get to come and experience these places. And I want young people from inner cities, from working class communities, to realise that they also belong here. John has an infectious passion and energy. Growing up, I was always ferociously driven as a child, like I always wanted to achieve something in my life. I attached that to the complete wrong things, which was the acquisition of wealth and money. And then because I grew up in the environment of organised crime, that was the road I took, because that was what was attainable to me, and I saw a way to get that wealth. That led me to spending 10 years of my life in prison. It was concrete, it was bars. I was buried in maximum security units. I had very limited human contact. I never saw a tree for 10 years. And that's why I have such an appreciation for nature and being outside. Like I've never felt so free in my life. Back last year when I took part in a UTMB event, the way I felt when I was running down into Chamonix and I had Mont Blanc on my left-hand side just made me feel absolutely amazing. And I thought, why don't I create a project where I could use the sport of trail running to bring kids from inner cities out to the mountains and use Mont Blanc, Chamonix, UTMB, the most famous trail running race in the world, is the pinnacle of this project. This completely defies the current trends. And at first we just pushed it out. I'm going to bring out 10 young people to compete in one of the most iconic trail running races in the world. The actual event is a two day race called the YCC. We had hundreds of applications and I said to John, like, let's try and keep it. 12 young people, that's a lot. Seeing the video of John saying he was taking the young people out to the Alps, I was totally obsessed just wanting to get to know him and his story. When I read the application, I was so nervous because I wanted it so bad. It took a few days to actually do it because there's hundreds of other young people out there. Why, why me? It was very, very difficult to whittle them down. I've got to break the news to you, and I'm sorry, but you have all been selected to come on the Alpine Run Project. It's going to be an amazing adventure. It's going to be an amazing opportunity. This is the biggest thing they've ever done in their lives. The kids have just all got their own amazing stories that have led them to this point. I think with art, the best thing you can do is just be like messy with it and just try out and mix the colours and add texture and blend everything together. That's what's special about art, it's like all to do with how you want it to be. I started painting like two years ago. I was thinking, well, what do I love? I love mountains. So I ended up doing like a big landscape painting. But I've always been drawn to mountains because they're just so like magnificent and powerful and I think they just look amazing. That's why I applied to this, because that is like my dream, to see the mountains, because I've not had the chance to do that yet. I love to just paint them and imagine that I'm actually there. It's a pretty, it's a pretty good cloud. <laughs> I've always enjoyed running while I've done it, but I've never done it properly. If I had an end goal, if I had a target, this would be amazing. I take the training very, very seriously. I never miss my training. What's really powerful with running is that it like translates to real life as well. So when things get hard, are you going to give up? Are you going to just stop? No, you just keep going and you keep pushing and keep persevering. And I think that's what running has taught me. Now I'm going to take to the next level by actually going to the mountains. No 
almost dived head first by going to the Peak District. Hello, everyone. Thank you for all coming. Really, really, really been excited about this part of uh, introducing you now to, to trail running. So hands up, who's ever run on trails? Trail running to me is about like that reconnection back to nature and it's being in nature at its most purest form. And it's so simple. You just need a pair of running trainers. So everyone's going to get their first ever set of trail running shoes. Lily, there you go. Thank you. Yeah. Courtney, David. Has everyone got that? Absolutely wicked. I just have to Oh, yeah. See what I mean? It's a little one, two, one, two. Yeah, shit. <laughs> All right, John, lead us away. Are you ready? Is everyone ready? Three, two, one, let's go. For us, that was the first time trail running. It's something you can't experience in London. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably like once in a lifetime <laughs> opportunity. And there's my man Jesse. Yes, yes, yes. People are really pushing themselves. Everyone's actually like really taking this seriously and taking it in because they understand it's such a big yeah. thing. I don't think we understand how lucky we are as people to be in like a group like this. It's going to change lives. The environment is completely different. Running out here is tough. It's just like a lot more engaging. Very, very tough. Steep hills and you've just got like ugh, uneven land and it's just a lot going on. You have to watch your step a lot more. Yeah, I've never seen anything like it, mate. It was really hilly, but then when we look at that, we think that's only like 200 metres where we're going. The elevation is like 1,600 metres. So you can only imagine like how incredible the actual Alps is going to be. Hold the camera, hold the camera, hold the camera. You think it's a I'm a new man. <laughs> when we're together, it just brings all our happiness into one little place. It was nice to kind of learn more about them in a more intimate way. Sweet corn, some peppers. And who taught you how to do this? My cousin. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that looks so good! We are about to set off on a hike. It's a 14k hike. It's not too challenging, it really isn't. All right, Darren, lead the way. Yeah. This is like so cool. This is how like vloggers like live life. It's, oh my god, that's zoomed in. They're like, what's up, guys? Oh, disgusting. What is that cockroach? Wait, wait, don't, don't, don't. Let's like flip it. Let's flip it on watch. Oh, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> My eyes cannot believe how amazing this is. This is for you. <laughs> so I'm saying this is for you, for the camera people, because you've always been here with us. I live in London only two years. When I first was moving in London, my accent was not good. My English was not good. It's not easy to be like homeless women and then finding your way. JD have decided to surprise Yasmin after a photo shoot she did for us. She is being featured on a JD billboard in West London and she has no clue about it. Kind of surprise, you think? Just like surprise, see me in the billboard out of nowhere. Yeah, by that one there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually teach me how to have like uh, hope in life and still achieve whatever I want to achieve. And this is not something small, this is something big for me. Yeah, this is beautiful, looks very beautiful. One thing about me is like I'm a tough woman and like I am a tough woman because I know how to enjoy tough moments. I'm not gonna stand there and tell you I want happy, happy, beautiful life. No, I'm gonna tell you I need the painful life because the painful life is what makes someone to be strong and be tough. That's why life is gonna be beautiful always. If someone would have come into my life when I was a kid, and identified that I was good at something, my life would have probably gone down a completely different road. No one here now would be here if it wasn't for this man. There is no Alpine Run project without Darren. Hearing about Darren, I was yeah. like, oh my God, like Darren literally saved his life. Yeah. And like now he's doing it for all of us. And one day this incredible man, Darren Davis, he was a prison officer, he worked in the prison gym. He spotted how good I was on this indoor rowing machine. Generally, you wouldn't normally see anybody on cardiovascular machines in prison. It was mainly more heavy weights. He said to me, you've got an ability to suffer. And if you waste it, it'll be the biggest travesty I've ever seen as a prison officer. If you come back to prison, 
I knew nothing about any records at all. So I printed some sheets out and we sit and we basically discussed it, didn't we? And I think it has sort of planted a seed in your head, you know? I vividly remember it. And I sat on that rowing machine and Darren sat behind me on an exercise bike and I broke one of the world records. From that very moment, I made a decision to use my body as a vehicle to break me out of that life. And then that mindset that I had as a kid, being very driven, but focusing it into money, the minute I reshifted that into sport, I realised something that was destroying my life could be a massive attribute and make me have a successful, positive life. And today, we're here bringing a group of young people out to the Peak District on the Alpine Run Project. And all of this has been made possible because you believed in me. I understand the power of helping other people and giving back because you taught me that. And I feel a duty to be able to give that gift on to other people. On the application form, there was nothing about their backgrounds, right? It was just very general stuff. And on the first call with us, David asked me where I lived. I told him, and he said, how high is that? And I said, I live at 2,000 meters above sea level. And he said, I sleep at 3,000. And I said, what, you, how, what, how, where do you live? And he said, Hastings. I always just thought runners are just like geeky people. Do you know what I mean? The only thing I, I was running from was the police. Growing up in Manchester was tough. I was put into care at a young age. But when you've seen other kids, they've got nice shoes and they've got all these luxury things, I wanted what they had. If I seen something and I liked it, I'd take it. I got arrested in a place called Salford. That's when I got put in my first secure unit. I was always fighting with all the kids, fighting with the staff members. Being in there was so draining. There was times where I felt so low and depressed. I was only allowed an hour and a half free time and I wanted to get a gym membership just to get me out of that place. But the first time I jumped on the treadmill, it just made me feel alive. Without me realising, my life changed when I walked in that gym. It's hard to explain. It took me out of that secure unit mentally and it just made me feel like a normal human being again. Tom, my key worker, he said, oh, why don't you join a running club? I just rocked up in a pair of baggy shorts, fucking baggy T-shirt, not even running shoes. Terry was the coach. Terry does like a staggered thing. He sets me off at the back with his geezer, <laughs> right? I'm go zooming off. I've caught everyone up. And then he goes, carry on, you're not stopping. Fucking hell. Keep on lapping them, keep on lapping them, keep on lapping them, keep on lapping them. He was like, stop now. And he was like, I've never seen anyone run like that before. I was like, fuck, I'm actually, I'm actually all right at this. I got obsessed with it. But I said, I want to take this to the next level. I'm sleeping at 10,000 feet. When I first went in the chamber, like my times were going down like crazy. It's made me super, super fit. The experience being on the project is, yeah, it's changed my life massively. Just so many like-minded people, and it's just unreal. It's made me appreciate life in so many different more ways. I just want to show people that you can come from nothing and make yourself something. There's a lot of kids in the system that when they do turn 18, they do get left out, and there is not a lot of opportunities for them. That's why I'm so fortunate and grateful that I have found running and the Alpine Run project. Projects like this don't exist. There are people looking at us who are like, is this going to work? You brought a group of people with such different running abilities, such different backgrounds. Maybe we've bitten off more than we can chew. But if this can change one young person's life, then it can change hundreds of thousands of young people's life. And I knew after we'd gone to the Peak District that we could do this, we could pull off this, this project. Yeah, the mountains are calling. Oh, yeah. Where's my vlog? Oh, no. Which one's my turn? It's That's my vlog. <laughs> oh my days! This one! 
This one though. No, I think this might break the internet. Obviously, I knew we were in the Alps and there's going to be mountains everywhere, but they are literally in every direction that you look. Like, stop to take a picture. And then I turned around and I was like, oh, there's another one and another one. Chamonix was the birth of this event for me. This is where the idea of the Alpine Run project was built. And it's just nice that the kids are here for the first time. Training is a part of the nature. Training is a blessing. Before the race. Make the most of the beautiful weather. I can feel the energy, I can feel the vibe, and it's all come together as one now. We've worked hard, we've been training since March. This six months has been a stress, and we're finally doing it. It feels amazing, it like, doesn't feel real. Wow, you know, like this is actually happening for real. You ready? You ready? <laughs> really, really exciting, mate. Really does take your breath away, everyone. He's out here with good intentions. It's so nice. Like just being here just fills us so much excitement for tomorrow. I'm finally at home. I waited six months and I trained so hard just so I could come and do a race and see the mountains. And now I'm finally here. My dream came true and I'm in the mountains now. You've all put in so much to be here and you've sacrificed so much to come, but there are so many people back home as well that are so proud of you. So you're representing your communities, your families. I honestly do not care where you finish in that race. What I care about is you give your best. And I, I asked that of you at the very beginning and that's all I expect from you this week. Welcome to the YCC. Race one is a 14 kilometer trail run with 1100 meters of ascent. The finishing order of this sets the start order of race two, the revenge race. Let's go. I oh, enjoy this experience. You've worked so hard to get here. Everyone psyched up, you all ready? Yeah, you ready? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Let's go. I think John really, really is like the best person to be like one of our mentors. You can see how much he cares about all of us. He's been along with, with all of us every step of the way, like being able to WhatsApp him, message him, ask him for advice about anything. He said yesterday that it's not just this project and then you won't ever hear from him again. This project is not about photographs and video and it looks good in the instant when we walk away from them. As much as I want these young people to be trail runners and to be active, I want them to be the best they can be. This is it. Now this is your moment to shine. This is your platform. This is your stage. I'm ready, I just want to start. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One foot in front of the other and just go. Have to make everyone proud. My dad's watching me from up. Is it on? <laughs> oh man, me and them are out here. This is very hard. The views are mad though. <sighs> it's, it's, it's mental battle this. Oh my days. This hill feels like it is never gonna end, man. It's freaking rocks, bro. This is literally the craziest thing I've ever done. I'm in pain. <laughs> further downhill bits. It's more fun. I feel confident that we've got the young people here to be the best they can be. But today is the day where if something kind of went wrong, it would probably go wrong right now. Oh. Oh, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah. I made it here. I trained for this race so I could see the beautiful view. <laughs> Actually, I've decided I now prefer the uphills. I can't do downhills. Like, this can be a bit too much. Apparently Tristan has had a bit of a nasty fall. Bless him. It's been all right until I fell. About 10 kilometers in, I went flying. Completed it! See you, Courtney. I'm having a disco. Just run, gonna be okay. Oh my God, I see a civilization. <laughs> flying through the mountains. Yes! Yes! yes. It is. That's the view I need. Are you afraid to jump? Be proud of yourself, mate. What have you gone through in your life to get here? That's what matters. I wanted it under 10. That was my goal. Top 10. So, that's all good. I smashed it. 
just to watch them all finish, man, how much it means to them. It is, it's, it is emotional. Oh, proud of you, mate. Well done. Just in a lot of pain from that fall, but after about 11k, it was literally like that. Flying down it, going way too fast. Well, in my head, all that's going is we're doing it again tomorrow. Manchester Hills don't prepare you for that. <laughs> we still got some athletes out on the course. It's three and a half hours since the race started. Unfortunately, Yasmin um, is still up in the mountains. No sign of Yasmin. She hasn't gone by me yet. We are just trying to work out how we can support her. Someone's just gone up to see if he can find her. Go on, Yasmin. Ali, Ali, Ali. Hello. We are currently walking, so it will be a long day. Till Matthew does not lose sight with her. Yasmin is 100% determined to finish. Uh, she's been saying it all week. Seems like she got to halfway. She sort of drifted off two and a half K off course. I'd say the main thing is that she just gets to the finish line. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you. What happened? You. What, what happened? I'm so happy. You made us scared. I'm so happy. You're happy. The yeah. most important thing is you finished. You yeah. said you were going to finish yeah, and you're safe. Our mission is to find me any type of mountain souvenir in 20 minutes. Vivian there. Ooh. Oh, look, the little snow globes. Bit out of budget, it's 90 euros. <laughs> and it's too big, it won't fit in my suitcase. Oh, I'm going to go to the mountains, that's what I put on my friend's speaking course from last year. I, have to, I think I have to get this one. Found the perfect souvenir for me. It says, Je suis allé à la montagne, which is past tense. I went to the mountains. And funny enough, last year I wrote in my speaking exams, à la venir, je vais aller à la montagne, which means in the future I want to go to the mountains. And now that I've done it, I've got it in the past tense. Yay! Welcome to the revenge race. Today is all about speed, with a shoulder punch in your route and reverse starting order. We're excited, so we're good to go, ready to win. Very, very happy with how far we've all come and how hard we've all worked towards this. Go and do a little warm up, mate, just to start getting yourself ready and going. You know how to race this, mate. I'm not going to tell you how to race it, yeah? You know what to do, yeah? Go and figure yourself. This is it, the final push. Give your best, and I know you will, mate, and enjoy it. Right, cool. I just love this so much. I'm buzzing, mate. <laughs> All the encouragement, all the hard work. It was the best feeling ever. I think you're first. Uh -huh. She come first. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing, man. It's so surreal. Woo. I loved it. Jasmine's about to come through the finish line. It's been a long race for her, but a really important one too. <laughs> I wanted to change the sport. This is what I wanted this to be about. It feels so surreal. But it's what you gave to other people. That's the powerful impact. <laughs> <laughs> It's, yeah, it generally, like it's been the best. It has been the best couple of days of my life, and that is not an exaggeration. To 
see the looks on their faces and how emotional they were and how much it meant to them. It was beautiful. To me, that's the power of sport. So much from the days I was running in Streatham Hill when I nearly collapsed. I've grown as a human, grown as a person. Mental strength is right at the max. I was never determined, never tried to push myself to the max. This whole project has changed my life and the people too. I went from Streatham to France to Chamonix. I'll leave my mark. People can see the drive in me. People can see the heart in me. I had a part and I made my play and I made my play for the world to see. I feel ambitious. Yo. Don't try to limit yourself to one aspiring goal, you can change the world Just believe in yourself to the point that third party opinions don't matter My life has been changed, and that's for the better I'm making a name, thanks to the members No matter the day, no matter the time I run into distant stars at night, see my vision as clear as the sky <laughs> Why'd I run? That's a great question but I'm not gonna answer Find out yourself, take that leap and show the world I can't feel the rain on my Nike cleats my life is changing a matter of weeks I can't feel the rain on my Nike cleats My life is changing a matter of weeks I can't feel the rain on my Nike cleats My life is changing a matter of weeks I can't feel the rain on my Nike cleats My life is changing a matter of weeks 